remember whatever you are uh, looking at in this session has has nothing to do with memorizing a good coder or a good data scientist never memorizes things all he or she has to understand from the online lectures that he or she takes is that okay this is possible and this is some library that will make it possible right for example i read numpy from that numpy lecture i i understand that it is fast and it it can do numerical uh, things on a list of numbers really quickly that's all i remember that's very good that's very good to remember because that's all you need to remember and all you need to do to implement all the codes and practice problems is just to go to the uh, documentation right that's your help right for anyone who is new to this there is a website called stack overflow which will help you in whatever error you are facing if you are using google collab it will directly provide a link to go to the stack overflow solution of a error you are facing but it's a very common practice even the best of best of data scientists they also face these problems and they go to stack overflow which is a community handle platform where people uh, as per their experience whatever errors they have faced they go go back and they find the solution and put the solution for other people to take help from right so you can always use the web all you need to look at is yes this is possible that's all you need to remember uh, memorizing things is not the way to do data science so let's uh, with that note let's uh, uh, go with today's session i will share my screen okay so today we will look at how to visualize the data that we have by now created or imported be it the data that you have created be it the data that you have imported from an excel sheet in a pandas data frame be it a data frame into separate arrays called x and y we have the power to visualize them using three libraries the agenda will be first we will look at matplotlib which is a matlab style plotting library in python the second thing is uh, cborn which is more like the statistical plotting library in python the third thing is plotly which is like a very recent advancement in python using which you can do uh, dynamic and interactive plotting things you can you know play with right so it it becomes very interesting by the time we get to the third point and then just to give you a feel of uh, reservoir engineering i will end up the session by talking about a uh, uh, radial flow profile darcy's law example and see how we can use visualization to check or see how viscosity can be you know uh, can be uh, the change the, the change of oil viscosity can impact how radial flow profile is developed right so that is our target for today let's start with matplotlib okay let's start with matplotlib so in order to do everything first you always have to import the few libraries uh, for for safety sake i'm importing pandas i might not need it for now but import numpy as np we already have done that uh this is something which is new but it is good to have because sometimes you might see warnings which are not errors based on the version of a particular library so if in if in order if you don't want to see it just provides import warnings and filter warnings and ignore them right these two steps uh, will ignore uh, will not display any warnings because warnings are not important they are just for help right and then this is the new thing import matplotlib.pyplot as plt so matplotlib as i have told you it's a matlab style plotting library from that there is a package called pyplot which is a python plotting library in matplotlib you import that package as plt it's a standard anyone can name it anything you can name it p for your reference as and how you like it you can use your name as your reference right i can import matplotlib dot ply pi plot as divyanshu that won't give me error right so that's always there uh, we have seen that in the last lecture so everything that we will be doing will be helping us revise numpy as well as helping us do visualization so it makes our projects more complete because whatever data we are doing uh, things with we will always like to visualize it at least this is my favorite part of coding uh, uh, visualizing and doing plots and looking at how data is panning out to be it's great right so suppose i want to do a relative permeability plot in python so first i'll have to create a saturation array so people uh, must remember this from the last lecture uh, so this is the uh, np.lin space it helps you create a linearly spaced array uh, from a starting point up to the ending point and providing the number of points so we are starting as saturation is a fraction we will be starting from 0 ending at 1 
we want 100 data points fine we have uh, provided all the three informations over here and then uh, this is uh, more like uh, uh, you know it's not standard but it's it's a good co good correlation to go with for permeabilities because uh, higher the saturation of water uh, higher will be the relative permeability of water and higher the saturation of water lower the saturation of oil lower will be the uh, relative permeability of oil so this function follows that so it's fine to use it right so let's run it now we have created our saturations we have created two data from our saturations we have created relative permeability of water and we have created relative permeability of oil for people new to reservoir engineering relative permeability is just like you know the relative ease with which the water flows or the oil flow suppose our rock has both oil and water and if water is trying to flow the ease with which water tries to flow in the presence of oil uh, it's called its relative permeability in the same time the ease with which oil is flowing when water is also present it's called relative permeability of oil right so once we have created x and y all we have to do now we can provide our style this is optional uh, i like this style style is like uh, the the you know the color coding and the background and all those things it's like beautification of of your uh, plot so the step one is you have to plot plt dot plot is your basic plotting we have already seen this but i told you that at that time it was optional but now it is not optional because it's you know we are talking about it so plt dot plot first parameter that you provide is is the x axis the second parameter that you provide is the y axis okay and on the same plot if you on the same code cell if you provide another uh, you know uh, the same thing you you can see first i am plotting x comma y1 second time i am plotting x comma y2 then on the same plot they both will be plotted right now this is good because uh, they both are relative permeability so plotting them on the same axis does not make a difference because they have the same y range but if in case you want to you know plot two drastically different things on the same x axis for example i'll tell you suppose i want to my x axis is the dates or the time right and my y axis y1 is oil rates y2 is gas rates now these two guys are very very different in magnitude so plotting them on the same axis does not make sense rather you would want you know as you see in textbooks one side of the uh, axis representing one other unit other side of the axis representing another unit so that is called axis twinning okay. write it down axis twinning you can go and look at the documentation axis twinning so in that case you might want to look at that but right now that's not the problem so here you, you can see this is relative permeability of water this is relative permeability of oil stuff like that right uh, i know it's not uh, you know you don't i i would request you to keep your uh, reservoir engineering geek mind <laughs> off for some time because uh, for now we are focusing on python right so uh, yes good plot but it is good it is it good enough no it's not we need to you know add a lot of things so let's go and add more things to this plot so we first add a grid okay so we have done the same thing we have plotted these two things again and i have added a grid adding a grid can be done by plt.grid now i'll just tell you how what if i want to make my lines thicker because for someone with weak eyes he might not be able to see this thin line right so there is a short form called lw line width equals to let's say i want 5 and this line with also i wanted to be uh, let's say 7 okay and you would see uh, how different my plot looks after i do that i'll run it wow you can see this okay so this is appearing different because i guess my style i did not run this right it has to be default i'll run it and now i run it again nice so you see my oil because it has line width of 7 it is thicker my krw is uh, you know now there is a short short uh, you know short form to do this shortcut to do this rather uh, the shortcut is uh, you know i'll just comment it out the shortcut is plt dot plot suppose i have x comma y1 and in the same line i can do the two plots so the third, i just have to x comma y2 and you can see in this documentation as well x comma y x2 comma y2 and stuff like that so you can do this in one line as well the same thing will be plotted for you okay so i'm just writing it down here if in case you want to practice it later on now 
we have done this uh, plotting but still i need to make more amendments or more add more details to this plot what if i want to add uh, you know i still cannot for someone who is new who is just entered uh, this uh, lecture he does not know which color is for what kind of permeability so i want to add a legend and a label for each plot how can i do that so this is how you do that right after you provide the x and the y axis you provide a label equals to whatever label equals to whatever right so since this is krw you provide label equals to krw and since this since this is kro you provide label equals to kro so if in case i want to be more elaborate i can do water related permeability i can do that right water help form and in this i can do oil help form right that would not seal the deal you still have to provide this plt dot legend right because how will python know that the labels you are providing are they for your own reference or do you actually want to see them on your plot right once you provide this statement python understands that okay this dude wants me to uh, print this legend actually on the plotting canvas so once you provide this uh, i'll run it this is from the previous version you see uh water help form is the blue line oil then form is the orange line perfect so now we have very nice information but still who like for someone like some some guy named jayesh he joined right now he might not know what x axis is and what y axis is so we want to do it for him for jayesh so let's do it for jayesh we we want to label x x axis we want to label y axis so that he also knows what what is going on so let's do it uh, the way to do it everything else is the same as we have done by now the way to do it is this thing so plt dot x label we provide in the bracket we provide a string which is called as the uh, since you are seeing that there are two quote marks it's a string of course everything even the label was a string so x label sw fraction y label krw and kro i must write kro as well and kro in fraction right and title as well we might um, we might want to see what's going on and want to represent it with a title right so rel form plots so title as you can already see uh, it's leaking the information over here it will be appearing at the top so once you plot it there you go so rel form plots the title whatever you provided plt or title it's appearing at the top the label legend is appearing here by the way by plt dot legend it won't always appear here suppose much of the information uh, the space was available over here you can it will automatically decide where to print this legend so don't worry about that or if in case you want to specifically define where you want your legend to be displayed again go back to matplotlib documentation you have a lot of options that you can provide in this bracket where you which using which you will be able to display the legend at your you know desired location so moving forward now i can say my plot looks perfectly fine okay i know that uh, looking at this plot whoever even if he or she joins now he or she might know what's going on right so let's move forward and see more type of so this was a line plot let's see what a scatter plot looks like 